Hey everybody, welcome to Kelly's Prepping Kitchen. Today we are going to be making cowboy queso for the freeze dryer. We've made this before as a dip on the Super Bowl a while back, but we're going to make it this time, like I said, to put on the freeze dryer. We got, what is this, Corey, about a pound of brisket? Yeah, it was a pound of chopped. From our favorite, mm, this smells so good and smoky, from H-E-B. They have a restaurant on site that has literally the best brisket ever. So, I think the original recipe calls for ground beef or ground pork or sausage, but we're going to use brisket. And then, let's see, we're going to use the rest of this big block of queso. So, like I said, we made some on Super Bowl Sunday. We're going to use the rest of this. And I'll show you what else we're going to be adding. We're going to add a can of Rotel and then some additional hatch green chilies that Corey made. We recently put some of this double smoked cheddar cheese from Aldi on the freeze dryer. We grated it. It was delicious. So I think I had bought like four or five of these blocks from Aldi. So we did three on the freeze dryer. We've got one left. So we are going to grate this up and add this whole block into the cheese as well. We are going to dice up an onion. We have some heirloom tomatoes that are kind of starting to look a little bit past their prime. So come with us and let's put this together. First I'm going to go ahead and add the tomatoes. I'm going to use this thing that you uh, use to break up your ground beef. Next we are going to go ahead and add the Velveeta blocks. Next, I'm going in with the brisket. Obviously, when it warms up, it's going to break down. Mmm, this is going to be so good. A lot of recipes, you can add black beans, but we figure we probably have enough protein with all this meat here, so... Next, we're going to go in with these diced tomatoes and green chilies. I called it Rotel earlier. That's just a different brand. This is the Hatch brand. Now we're going to go ahead and go in with the the onions and the green chilies. That's More chopped. Hatch green chilies. Got chopped that up. We forgot to chop. Here, I'll go ahead and do the, the onions. Finger in there. I hope I don't. How about the bloody stub. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. For reference, that cheese was seven ounces. Looks like it multiplied. And we will probably be adding some milk to it, but we're going to go ahead and let this melt down a little bit. Or, or should we add the milk now? What do you think, babe? I guess it's add like maybe a quarter yeah. cup. All right. So we're going to start with a quarter cup of milk up in here. I am going to throw some taco seasoning in. And then what else? Do a little bit of liquid smoke for some smokiness. I'd say about a tablespoon. So that's uh, a fourth a cup. <laughs> that didn't even put like a din in it. Let's do half. Yeah, let's do half a cup at least, and we'll probably be adding more. Probably. All right. So we will come back and check on. Oh, we need to put some garlic in here. Right. All right, let's put, what would you say, about a tablespoon? Or We're a garlicky family, yeah. so. Hey, yeah. but we rarely get sick, knock on wood. We eat a lot of garlic around here. And then our homemade seasoning. Homemade seasoning, which is cumin, smoked salt, what, pepper, garlic, onion? Yep, the garlic right. seasoning, cumin, and smoked salt. All right, we'll come back and check on this. I'm going to put this on low for about... Three hours. It doesn't need much time because everything's cooked. We're basically using this as a huge fondue pot. Okay, so it's been two hours and the queso is looking delicious. We are going to add a little bit of cream cheese to it. I know that people uh, add this to cowboy queso. It's got several variations, but we thought this would kick it up and give it a little extra creaminess. It's already so rich and perfect on its own, but why not just go all out? Yeah, looking good, guys. We taste it. It's it so fantastic. good. It's so smoky. I'm going to have another one. 
Yeah, I think that cream cheese is gonna mm. kick That's it. That's perfecto. Love it. Can't wait to freeze dry this. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> that is that is fantastic. That smoked brisket just sets it off. Even even if it didn't have that, that's probably the best case that we've ever made. All right, maybe you know, I've ever eaten. That's yeah, great. I think definitely adding that uh, Aldi double smoked, smoked cheese. cheese is. Perfect. I mean, we had that stored away for several months in the back of our fridge. We just came across it. It's yeah. still so good. I That's like great. the chunks of onion that are in there. I like the, the green chilies. Yeah. It's just, it's mm. delicious. Sorry to tease you like this, but I wish <laughs> you were here. Yep. There's plenty of it if everybody came over. All right, so now we are putting the queso onto one of the trays for the freeze dryer. We decided to go ahead and put it on while it's still a little bit warm so it can be spread out easily because you know when cheese firms up, you're not going to be able to get it on a sheet pan like this. I think this would be excellent as a sauce on pasta, rice, wrapped up in burritos, on top of a baked potato. What are you thinking, babe? Yeah, any of that, but... We've got enough for another tray. So you want to go ahead and do another tray? Do two trays. So that? what were we gonna do? Uh, yeah, let's just do the ice cream another time. We'll do two trays of this. And two trays of yogurt. And a tray of yogurt. A tray of yogurt. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, we'll come back and uh, show you the yogurt setup, and then we'll put it on the freeze dryer. Now we're going to load some yogurt on there. We're going to put it in the freeze dryer. I think we're going to mix a little bit of this granola. granola we have. This is my probably one of my favorite snacks from the freeze dryer. We've made it before where we made it into dots like these uh, yogurt things for babies. You see that? But this time, well, we've actually made it before the bark where you just break it up at the end i'm gonna put some raspberries in it that we already put on the freeze dryer so basically they're gonna get rehydrated and then freeze dried again and then i'm gonna put some of my granola that is strawberry cheesecake flavored and there's not a whole lot so we're just gonna kind of sprinkle it i was thinking about putting my trader joe's cinnamon roll <laughs> glazed uh, granola clusters on there, but I don't know about strawberry and cinnamon roll. I don't know. It might be good. They do have strawberry cinnamon rolls, but I think we'll just stick with the basics for now. So we'll get this prepped and get it on the freeze dryer. Yeah. I think yeah, we want, need more. more. Let's put a little bit more. Little Let's more. go ahead and use it all. There's not much yeah. left. I only really fit a tub and a half. I thought it was two tubs, but mm -hmm. that's okay. Whatever. Yes, indeed. Okay, so we're using how many raspberries you think we can fit? Can we do the whole know. what we have left? I'm not sure. Let me let's push them down a little bit and see. And if you crush them a little bit, that's okay. They don't need to stay whole. Yeah. And I love how I deliberately, because I don't usually like fruit in my yogurt, oh, I always true. buy the, <laughs> the smooth that has no fruit in it, and then I turn around and add my own fruit. I just think that it's normally kind of slimy tasting or whatever, but I've just grown used to the, the smooth, and I love it. But I also love these freeze-dried raspberries, so... I think that looks pretty good. That looks pretty darn good to me. All right, let's get this on the freeze dryer. Okay, guys, so in goes the yogurt. Tray of cheese going in. We'll see how long this takes. Here we go. I'm going to bag it up in these quart size bags. <laughs> So, how are you going to portion this out, babe? Half the tray. Okay. And one bag. 
So we'll, we'll end up with four bags. We will come back and rehydrate this later. I already know what it tastes like. This is like my third time making it. Okay, so now we're going to try to rehydrate a couple of things. First one is the yogurt parfait bark. Let me just break off a little bit of that. That should be good enough. And then we are going to do the brisket queso. And what we're going to do for the brisket queso, we are going to add a little bit of hot water. And it's always better to do a little and then add more as you need it. And then over here for the yogurt, I'm going to do cold water. And let's just let this absorb for a second. Okay, so Corey's going to work on the queso while I work on the yogurt. You having to? Add, are you keeping track of how much water nah. you're adding? Just winging it. Yeah. We don't keep track of anything, do we? Because queso, I mean, just make it to your desired consistency. consistency. I might have done a little too much on the yogurt. I mean, it's a little yeah. bit more watery it's than the still. average. But if you look at it like being one of those, um, what do you call it? Those acai bowls or whatever. Those they're basically like smoothies in a bowl. And you add a bunch of fruit to it. So I'm going to pretend that this is basically like a smoothie. Because it's a little more runny than I would have liked to have made it. Alright, you want to do a taste test or do you need more time? Well, the meat may be a little hard still. Oh, well, let's give it more time. Let me try it though. So to start out, we're going to taste test the yogurt that we rehydrated. As you can tell by looking at it, it looks... Pretty much like what yogurt looks like out of the fridge. So, it's delicious. It tastes, the only thing that's a little bit different is it's not as cold because yeah. we re rehydrated at room temperature now. If we rehydrated this, then put it in the fridge for 30 minutes or so. But look, it's, it's just perfect. So this is a win for me, although my favorite way to eat this is just um, right off the freeze dryer and a little bark. So, all right, ready to do this now? You want to do it on yeah. a chip? I think it was a spoon, I guess. What does that mean? Oh, somebody's calling me. Hold on, y'all. All right. So here's how the brisket queso turned out. All right, let me get a chip. See, she asked me, but she does what she wants anyway. What happened? She said, oh, I'll do the spoon's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> now you dump the spoon and get it to it. Sorry, Ben. I was too busy. I was distracted by my that phone call that was coming in. There we go. Mmm. Is it good? really good. Tastes like we just made it. Even the meat's tender and everything. Sometimes meat takes a little bit longer to rehydrate, but it's fine. It's good. Nothing it's wrong perfect. with that. It tastes fresh, and I, like you said, I'll piggyback on that. I was worried that the meat, sometimes when you freeze dry meat, it needs to go a little bit longer to rehydrate. But I guess adding the hot water really helped. Mm -hmm. like I need to even nuke it in the microwave, eat it up a little bit more if yeah. you want. It's perfect, guys. I hope y'all give this a try. If so, let us know what you think. Take care. See you next time. Bye.